Here we have 13.5, finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. And so we want to be able to continue the idea of going from left to right downward um, with a positive, and then um, left to right going upward in the with the negatives, okay? The only thing is, is that because this is a 3 by 3 matrix, um, in a two by two matrix, you're multiplying two terms together, right? We know that this is what we had there. And you multiply two elements together to get one term and then two elements in the other direction to get the other term. And this second direction, when you go upward, is the one that has a minus in front of it, right? But for a three by three matrix, we have to be able to multiply three numbers together, okay? And so in order for me to multiply three numbers together, I can do this one, but then when it comes to doing the next one, you don't have a third element here, okay? And then here, you're missing two elements. So how do we get around that? What you do is you take the first two columns and you rewrite them outside this bar on the right-hand side. And it must be on the right hand side. So I'm just rewriting these first, these two columns outside the bar in those respective orders. Okay, so this column was written first, second column was written next. Okay, and I only need two, I don't need the third one. Okay, because with these two rows repeated on the outside, I now have complete diagonals and three of them. And there should be three of them because. This is a three by three matrix, okay? So all of these that are going in the downward direction are going to just have positives, okay? So I'm going to take zero times one times four, and then I'm gonna put plus. Negative three times negative five times four plus. And then three times negative three times four. Now, when I go in the other direction, Notice this does not have three, this does not have three. The first time I get into three is here, okay? And then another three there, and then another three here. This does not have three elements, and this does not have three elements. So those are the only three uh, diagonals that I will take in the other direction. Now we know from the two by two matrix, when you go in this direction, you have to put a minus sign in front. So this will be minus four times one times three, minus four times negative five times zero, minus four times negative three times negative three. And then it's just a matter of finding all these entry values and then finding the like terms. So for this particular problem, zero times anything is zero. And then when I multiply these out, I have 20 times three, which is positive 60, plus here we have nine times four, that's gonna be a negative 36, minus, that's gonna be a positive 12, minus, that's gonna be a zero, minus, and that's gonna be a positive 36. So with the signs, I have a double sign here, so I can combine those. I don't need to write the zeros. So I have 60 minus 36 minus 12 minus 36. And so what is that value in the end? Let me grab my calculator real quick. I end up with negative 24 as the determinant of this three by three matrix. So again, make sure you watch this video either slowly or watch it again a second time just to make sure that you get the pattern down. Rewrite the first two rows out here in the correct same order. Then do your three diagonals of three elements. Those that go downward left to right will have positives in front. Then the products that go downward, go from down to the top left to right will have a minus sign in front of them. And then if you have any with double signs later on, you can correct those and then complete your computations. Personally, I don't write this step right here. I don't ever write it. I just go ahead and when I've written my lines here, I do zero times one times four, I know it's zero. 
negative 3 times 5, negative 5 is going to be negative, positive 15 times 4 is going to give me positive 60. And I'm make sure there's a plus in front. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, times 4 is negative 36, but I know there needs to be a plus in front because of the direction that I'm going. Then when I go to the other direction, I know these have a minus in front. And so then 4 times 1 is 4, times 3 is a positive 12. Again, still going in this direction, so I have to put a minus. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20, but that time 0 is still 0. Same direction, put a minus. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Negative 12 times negative 3 is a positive 36. And so then if I have any double signs, I fix them there, and then I continue. So I never really write this step down when I'm doing it on my own. But I thought it necessary to just illustrate what was getting multiplied by each other and why and what sign was in front.